Hi, uh, everybody. We're living now a terrible situation. Uh, COVID-19 uh, forces uh, parents and uh, children to be separated. Elderly uh, people and fragile people are suddenly hit by uh, a fatal disease. And uh, more than 4 billion of uh, people all over the world are contained. Uh, I think it's time to uh, redefine uh, our uh, capacity to react, uh, and I'm speaking about uh, wound dealing. Uh, going closely to the patients, uh, for the caregivers, uh, expose the risk of uh, both of them uh, being uh, contaminated by the COVID-19. So, uh, since more than uh, 10 years, uh, uh, we developed uh, randomized control trials and uh, more than 20,000 uh, patients were uh, followed by telemedicine. And this is my message today. Uh, it's time to, to convince yourself uh, and uh, to convince your deciders uh, to opt for uh, this um, efficient mode of uh, managing wounds. Where is the risk? The risk is, uh, is present in telemedicine and uh, some uh, amateurism has been present since years and uh, published with uh, some, uh, well, results that were not very convincing. It seems that if you, now uh, we plan it in a right way, if we define exactly what is needed to develop telemedicine and to do it properly, the regulatory uh, 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 departments of each of your country will uh, follow the, the French government who decided to pay for telemedicine. Telemedicine in France is, uh, is now uh, covered by uh, the reimbursement of the public insurance system. Uh, what is the key element? The key element is the relationship between an expert in wound healing, who is the expert that will be the uh, uh, tele-doctor or tele-nurse, and close to the patient, the patient itself, himself, and uh, a nurse or an assistant nurse, or somebody who will follow the guidance of the expert at distance. So the expert has a, an eye, but also a digit in the wound, can explore the wound, can and look at the uh, presence of undermining, define the length of the undermining, define the tissues, touch by the, by the, by the digit of, the, of this assistant, uh, explore uh, and define the colors of inflammatory areas, uh, etc. So there is here some uh, uh, mode of doing telemedicine which guarantees that uh, exploration is done properly. This uh, combination uh, between the expert, the patient, and an effector uh, makes the, the, the system working well. The second key of uh, uh, the efficacy will be for you who are living in a country where you have no reimbursement of telemedicine, to convince very quickly that uh, what we say is uh, uh, necessity makes law. So necessity now is COVID-19 and the law should be adapted. We've seen everywhere in Europe and in the world that uh, the governments and the lawyers and the, the people who make laws can adapt very quickly. So it's time for Wundiling to adapt very quickly and to adopt this model, which help the, the patients to be treated at home and prevents uh, contamination. Uh, finally, uh, who, who pays? The public insurance system in some countries, private insurance systems in other countries, and when there is no uh, possibility of insurance system, we can ask for companies, and I did already that, ask for companies to develop some uh, sponsoring of telemedicine 
And uh, in this direction, uh, we will uh, very quickly diffuse a text which resume uh, the different possibilities. And there is a website, which is uh, teleclinic.org, that will be established in the next uh, few days and will help you with the different uh, technical uh, issues concerning telemedicines, uh, how to uh, obtain uh, uh, access to a platform, uh, which uh, system should be used, uh, what are the rules in terms of uh, regulation of uh, transmission security, etc. So I think it's uh, a good time to redefine our uh, relationships with our patients. And I'm sure telemedicine will uh, help uh, all of uh, you and your patients to be treated correctly. Thank you.